What's happening, YouTube? I'm in the Danish pipe shop. Uh, I happen to be in the company of one of the old school pipe presenters. Um, in the Danish pipe shop, he is going to give us a little explanation about the new website they have put put up and some pipes that are for sale that possibly you might like to check out and purchase from the webpage. Um, here is Pipe Poet. Hi guys. How you doing Pipe Poet? I'm doing fine. Thank you. It's good to see you again. Thank you. Good to see uh, RC, all of you. I, 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 know, I know a bunch of the uh, presenters over on YouTube have missed your company. Oh, nice of you to say. And um, I'm glad to be here with you, uh, having a little pipe talk. Um, I have a question. Uh, can you give us a little tour of some of the pipes that are for sale on the webpage if anybody is interested in purchasing some? Yes. I think some of the more interesting ones, or more simple Danish ones, are the Paul Winslow pipes. These are, uh, I think 90% uh, of them are on the webpage already. And uh, the price is uh, fairly good, I think, for a uh, for a handmade pipe. They both come in 9mm uh, filter pipes and uh, stand-up non-filter pipes. They are some beautiful pipes and I, and I do own a couple myself. Yeah, especially his uh, finishes are quite interesting. Yeah, uh, and one thing I've noticed from from uh, maybe about a half a year ago um, till now, the web page um, I find is Excellent, and I am also on the Facebook of the webpage, so I get updates all the time when they uh, when new pipes come up uh, for sale. Yeah, and we put on a lot of work into to the webpage, and um, each week we uh, we actually ship a lot of pipes to all over the world. Right. Typically, uh, or especially the Asian market uh, gets a lot of pipes, and especially Winslow pipes. Uh, also, something like uh, the igniting igniting pipes. Which you have some of here, uh, some of his uh, freehand, old school looking pipes. Very nice, very nice. And we pipes. have a lot of these on the on the website too. Here we have some of his um, hunting pipes. Oh yeah. Years and yeah, you can't get them anymore. And I know you have some. Um, I saw a couple in the case. You had a couple of hunting pipes that are dated back to 2006. <laughs> exactly. And I think we have. Uh, let me see in the. Door here. Show you some of the hunting pipes over here. These are some of the old hunting pipes. Can't get them no more. And you see um, some bamboo here in the middle. Is that bamboo? Yeah, what is it? Yeah. Bamboo. Yeah. Also, some of these uh, golf pipes. He makes a golf pipe once in a while. Anybody's into golfing? They got a nice uh, Nording hunting golf pipe. Sorry. Yeah. Uh, I particularly, <laughs> I particularly like these ones with the kind of amber stem. Yeah. Uh, with some deep rustication. 2006. That's the the wild turkey. That's a wild turkey. Well, he actually has a list. You can see yeah, right here. The if this will come in, yeah, yeah, it's like the. Uh, the hare, the elk, the wild turkey, the cobra, the white tail, moose, wild bear, the quail, the beaver, for example. Yeah. Um, there was another pipe that you had gotten in the shop, which is a high, high class pipe, which yeah. uh, I wanted Dunhill Man UK to take a look at this bad boy. Look at this Dunhill Man. Here we go. I hope this does it justice with my camera. Here we have the Dragon from Dunhill. The Dragon Dunhill pipe with, I believe, a sterling silver dragon with a ruby in as well. Exactly. In the eye. The eye is a ruby. That is pretty darn cool. Yeah, it is. Check that out. Um, if anybody is wondering, uh, the price is around $3,000. So if anybody is interested, uh, they could contact them through their web page if they would like to purchase this beautiful item. Oh, it's it's a beauty. Yeah. Especially if you're into uh, I don't know, maybe Lord of the Rings or Dungeons and Dragons or any of those type of yeah. games or movies. Actually, I have the Lord of the Rings 
pipes too. You know, they have some Lord of the Ring pipes as well. Yeah. yeah. Uh, is there one that I can take a look at? Yeah, sure. He's gonna go and check one of those. We also have some church wardens, some seven Ellies. Uh, if you check back at one of my older videos, uh, I did a video in this um, tobacco shop before. So if you want to see a more extensive video of all the pipes, you can look at that as well. Oh, he's got the whole the, line of the... The Gandalf? This is the Gandalf Lord of the Ring pipe. And I will, key, I will say again that if you're interested in any of these pipes, please check on the webpage and contact them through the webpage. Look at that. That's the Gandalf... Uh, Lord of the Rings Church Warden. Very nice. I think he's comfortable. Very nice. Also, uh, check out the Bilbo. I think that's yeah, Bilbo one. here. While he's opening that, I just wanted to take a look at the card. Uh, let me hold it up so you can see the web page. That's focusing in. It is www. DanishPipeShop.com. I will um, in Denmark, in Copenhagen. I will list it on uh, my channel, so you'll be able to see it. Look at this. This is the the Bilbo. Uh, this is the Bilbo one. one. Uh, funny little snaily thing. Oh yeah, that's cute. That's pretty cool. Another. All of the Lord of the Ring pipes are church wardens. Yeah, correct? exactly. Yeah. The Gimli one is uh, the shorter. The shorter one. Okay. Yeah. Uh, let me just give you a little look. You could also purchase tobacco from the shop as well. Is that correct? Yes, exactly. Um, they got a, a very wide, wide range of tobacco um, up here, especially a lot of the mild, mild blend uh, tobaccos. If you're interested, um, you can. I guess they can also uh, send an email to find out what what type of tobaccos you have, or is it all listed on the? It should be listed all of it. Okay. With descriptions. With descriptions. Yeah. Perfect. So if you are in the States or from Asia or Australia and you cannot get the My Own Blend tobaccos, you can find them here through their webpage. Um, here are some of the, down here I think some of the imported tobaccos, is that right? Yes, Peterson's, exactly. Sevenelli's. They got a lot of rat trays. That's a new one here actually. What do we got here? Reach Denmark by mistake, but I think the importer has decided to keep it here. Robert McConnell, the original pure Virginia pipe tobacco. Yeah, this is a fairly bright Virginia blend. It tastes good. Very nice. And they do carry some cigars, um, which I have just been told. This is new, brand new, just came out here. The Man Canudo. Look at these bad boys. Very nice. Stubby little guys. You got a couple of them. You could, they also sell the cigars here, and they have the whole Rocky Patel Nording uh, cigars here as well. So, like I said, check out the webpage. Uh, you'll find everything there. Any questions, shoot them an email. Um, yeah. That's about it. I just want to say take care from Pipe Scratch and from the OG of the pipe world. See you around, guys. Hope you're good.